Hello there and welcome back to Mega Man X5. In the last video, we did the last Maverick, did some cleanup, and did the first Sigma stage. Let's go! Uh, for, I thought we were on the stage with the Ultimate Armor Black Zero for a second. But let's go. Then let's go again. I'm a little repetitive. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Uh, I just chugged a Red Bull. Because <laughs> uh, I am... Oh, I thought I could wall jump on that. I guess that would just break that whole part. But that's still a little weird to not be able to. But... But yes, I, I am quite tired. So I apologize. If my... Um... I apologize if my commentary makes a little less sense. This is right after the previous one, but I do feel suddenly a bit more tired. Uh, we'll see if the Red Bull helps carry me through this. Yeah, in this video, I'm going to finish the game. Uh, there's only, what, three stages left? Shouldn't be too bad. Shit. I wasted that platform again. You can't skip this with zero, like you can with X. <laughs> but you can still dash through it pretty quick. I think if there's not a white border there, that means you can't wall jump off of it. I'm not certain. But I like that this has worked out so well. I haven't like had to stretch a video or anything. I haven't forced this pattern to hold, but the X run with X4. Well, it is a little longer, so I guess you could say I'm stretching a little bit. But I haven't... I haven't forced it to a ridiculous degree. That in X4, X took four videos, Zero took three. X5, X took five videos, Zero took four. Uh, I don't expect that pattern to hold going forward. I'm trying to think about, like, uh... I'm gonna think about the later games and how the two runs will compare. Obviously, X7 and X8 will also have an axle run. Ugh, this is, I think, the most annoying part of this game with Zero. Because, like I mentioned in the X run, you don't have the ability to fly, you can't easily get around here, and you also can't kill these guys quickly with piercing shots. So, it's annoying. I'm excited to show off uh, X7 and 8, mainly. I am nervous about X6. Oh, shit! Okay, that was okay. That wasn't, that wasn't bad. Uh, oh, fuck! Ooh, it's okay. There we go. Not, 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 not too terrible. Party at the end on Rang to Bang to W. But I am nervous about X6. I'll be, uh. <sighs> nervous about X6. And I'm repeating myself, but I am quite nervous. Uh, it's not like the game is, like, impossibly hard or anything, but it's certainly much harder, I think at least, than X4 and 5. It's, I think it's probably the hardest of the X series, if I'm remembering correctly. I haven't played it all the way through at any time recently. By the way, uh, the green eye is weak to uh, the Mikazuki's on, just like it's weak to the Crescent Shot for X. Uh, the sun is weak to the Hisui Show, which is convenient because it's... Oh! Air dash! Air dash! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, now for focus mode. But X6 is complicated. The saving the Mavericks is okay for the most part, but occasionally really annoying. So, that I, I think the game's design is just kind of mean spirited. Like it's not, it's not 
bad design. It just feels made to be a little annoying. I don't know why I'm pausing like I have to switch weapons to pause menu. Blue Eyes weak to the Danchian, by the way. Uh, which is a bit hard to hit it with. But I might just recommend using the Mikuzuki's on. Actually, because it's just so much easier to hit things with. Oh, I hope the spikes don't appear. God, it's really hard to hit him with that too. So I actually don't think I recommend that either. Just just use Just use basic attacks, basically. Yeah, the red eye is weak to the Denji. But it doesn't matter. Everything's weak to the Mikazuki Zon. The sun is a little harder to hit. Fuck! I should have aimed for the sun. Damn, I did not expect the spikes to appear like that. I was not prepared. I still don't think this is going to take as many tries as it did with X. That was pitiful performance on my part. I love the warning thing. It's a staple of the X series starting in X4, I think. Uh, and it, become, it remains a staple into the Zero series, and I assume the ZX series. I've never actually gotten to a boss in ZX. I've barely touched ZX1. I've never played Advent. Actually, it's probably better to do a mix of the shit. That's not great. I should have used the sub tank. It's okay. I'm gonna be a little more cautious here. Serious mode. Uh, also, in the streams, I use my face cam. See the streams? Like, I've streamed more than once so far. Uh, I will have by the time this comes out. But I use face cam. I don't think it's, like, necessary. I kind of like the more retro uh, Let's Play vibe of not having face cam. When I say retro Let's Play, I mean, like, uh, the, the, like, Nintendo community Let's Players. I don't know if they have, like, a name for their community, but it's, like, the Runaway Guys, uh, Steven Plays, Josh Jepsen, Attacking Toucans. Uh, I, I, I've watched a lot of their stuff. Uh, over the years, and they're like my main inspiration for Let's Playing. Oh, they were still. Oh, I assumed it was over! They're like my main inspiration for Let's Playing. Uh, I think in particular, Chucka Conroy, Proton John, and Nintendo Capri Sun, the runway guys. Uh, but basically, everyone in their community is awesome. Like, uh, Luca Gen, Masayanella. There's a lot of people, and they, they, everyone that I've seen videos from is pretty cool. Uh, and that's kind of the vibe of Let's Play I'm going for. Uh, which is, I know it's like a nebulous thing, but I like their styles, personally, a bit more uh, than like Markiplier. Although Markiplier is a cool dude. Much respect for Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and basically, I'm not gonna say all Let's Players, but a lot of Let's Players seem like pretty cool people. Uh, but I'm a little less into uh, their styles. Uh, I prefer a slightly more conversational thing. To me, the thing that I enjoy about watching Let's Plays is primarily watching a person that I like to some degree uh, play a game that I care about. It doesn't have to be their first time playing it. Uh, and it, they, it doesn't have to be like, there doesn't have to be a focus on comedy explicitly. I think there's just something really fun. Uh, I'm actually gonna kill myself. <laughs> Because I want to do this with X first. I'm doing the same thing I did with, with X, but... Uh, I think there's something really fun about essentially Let's Plays that have the same vibe 
as watching a friend play a game. I, I just really like that kind of style. And so that's more or less what I'm trying to emulate here. Uh, obviously, I do not have the experience that any of the names I mentioned do. Uh, why am I coming here first? Because, uh, obviously, Proton John has been Let's Playing for 16 years this year. Uh, Chugga Conroy for... I don't know why I'm going in that order, but... Proton John has been Let's Playing for 16 years this year. Nintendo Capri Sun for 15 years. And Chugga Conroy for 14 years, I believe. Am I, I, I think those numbers are right. Uh, but I have been fans of their their work for uh, a decade, actually, this year. I, I, I started watching all three of them in 2013, I think. <sighs> Shit, forgot that there's no air, air dashes. But I love their stuff. Uh, and I've it, it's really watching Nintendo Capri Sun, uh, watching his original Mega Man Let's Plays, that was like the main thing that got me interested in doing this back in 2013, which those videos were already years old at that point. But I just, I kind of fell in love with that presentation style. I just like, uh, I don't know. I can't think of the right words to describe it, but I, I love that style of Let's Play. And I know it's not necessarily like, there aren't, like, clear boundaries between styles. It's just there are specific creators that I respect and uh, want to do a similar thing to. It was weird to say emulate, because I'm not trying to copy anyone. Uh, obviously, I hope to sort of find my own voice as I keep doing this. But I do have specific inspirations, and it's worth mentioning. Uh... But anyway, got the ultimate armor with X, and now with zero, one thing I'm going to do, and I'll explain in a sec, but I'm going to take off Shot Eraser, and I'm going to put on Speedster. No, <laughs> god damn it. I got used to pressing left and selecting zero that way. Now I'm going to have to... Oh, that's right. I can't exit the stage because I've not finished it. Which isn't a thing you can do in any Sigma stage in any of the games because you can't visit them, generally. You might be able to in the PSP remake of the first game, but even then I don't think so. By the way, I intend to Let's Play uh, the remakes of the games as well Eventually, I don't currently have any good way of recording PSP games. I have the like official cord you can plug into a TV to output the PSP through component out. Why am I going there? I keep forgetting how things work in this game. But uh, but it makes the game look terrible. And I'm not exactly certain how to record better. God, I love the Hyper Dash and I love Speedster. So fast. Crazy. But... I don't think if I had anything else to say... I just, I also just love Let's Playing. There's other, like, types of content I'd like to create. I think I showed this dialogue before. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna go a little slow, but I'm not gonna read it out loud right now. Z-Saber will be enhanced and your defense power will be increased. I believe in you. You will use these powers in the right way to fight evil. Decide and choose your fate. Black Zero, by the way, since I didn't explain last time, saving it for this. Uh, it has the effects of Shock Buffer, Shot Eraser, and Virus Buster. 
I believe that's technically the only things that are different about it. Uh, though I could be wrong. Which is why I took off Shot Eraser. This is pointless. Uh, now I just have that permanently. And Shock Buffer, so half damage. Take half damage. And Virus Buster, which is un unnecessary. I, like, it's kind of actively... Damn. It's kind of actively bad to have. But I also don't think there are very many viruses going forward, if any. But it really doesn't matter. Oh, I just love the feel of uh, Zero with uh, Speedster and Hyper Dash. Sorry, I'm distracted. There we go. And we're already at uh, what was Ultimate, or what was Black Zero. <laughs> I can speak. But to finish my thought earlier real quick, there are other types of content I want to create. Kind of want to do a little bit of everything, but starting with just Let's Playing, because I love Let's Playing. It's a type of content that I am passionate about. Anyway. X, Lifesaver. Why are you here? Look, I just... Look, just as we expected. The virus is everywhere, and yet he is not infected at all. He must have already become a maverick. No, don't, Lifesaver! You are jumping to conclusions! Still, I agree with you that Zero might be a danger. What are you talking about, X? You don't mean it, do you? I do, Zero. I came here because I'm really worried about you. I'll fight for you, Zero. You are tired, aren't you? Go back to the base and get a complete physical check. Wait, what if you're the one who has become a maverick? You go back to the base! I can handle this mission. It's stupid to endanger both of us. Zero, I can't allow you to handle this mission anymore. Don't make me force you to go back. So you're serious then? I can't believe this. I had hoped it would never come to this. That we wouldn't have to fight over such a trivial matter. But so be it. Prepare to lose, X. It's a little weird, because this... This essentially is the fight that was hyped up at the end of X3, right? 3 is the one where it said, you'll have to fight Zero. But, like, this doesn't really answer that. Like, this doesn't, to me at least, this does not feel like a fitting conclusion to that because it feels like they're fighting for no good reason. But you are fighting Ultimate X. Just like you fought Black Zero, you're fighting Ultimate X. Uh, is he weak to anything? I don't remember. Just a moment. As I check my notes. He is weak to the Z-Saber, Masenko, and Dantian? All three of those? Obviously Z-Saber doesn't mean much. Yeah, I might as well use it. It was using Soul Body from the previous game. Yeah, Danchian's pretty good, actually. There you go. I think he can use the Nova Strike, but he didn't there. He's really not too bad, especially with Black Zero. What was that? What did he do? Ugh, I thought... I thought I won. I never expected you to attack with Soul Body. Which makes sense, because he actually has Soul Body. Impressive, X. <coughs> Uh, uh, X, X. This cut seems exactly the same, but we'll see. Ho, ho, ho. You've done very well, X. I'll make your end easy. No, I won't allow you to. I know everything you're trying to do. What, you pitiful fool? No, I won't allow you to. <laughs> You're as persistent as ever, Sigma. Blast, I haven't completed you. I will retreat for now. Somehow I knew you two will come again. I'll be waiting for you. Ha 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 ha. Wait, Sigma. I will defeat you without fail. I, I don't know if anyone else finds that funny, but I just love the idea of going through it more quickly because it's the same. I'm getting a stronger energy reaction. Blah, 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 blah. Same exact dialogue. Uh, I believe this is the last stage. Let's go! And right there you can see that there is no normal Zero left. It is just Black Zero. He's not a selectable 
selection. Didn't know where I was going with that phrasing. God, so fast! Uh... I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm passionate about Let's Playing. Uh, I, I think it's, like, to me at least, I find it to be a uh, very compelling content. I don't have much interest in watching Let's Plays of games that I don't already know. Because, like, and, like, I get that for a lot of people, uh, uh, Let's Plays are primarily, like, a comedic thing. But for me, it's it's both the person and the game they're playing that are a big part of it to me. It's it's watching a person experience a game. Uh, and I also like uh, informative, like, forward. In informative forward as a weird way to say that. I like Let's Plays with a focus on being informative and comprehensive, which is the thing that Chugga Conroy's stuff is great for. Uh, he makes Let's Plays that are both, I think, quite entertaining, but also really informative. He covers pretty much every possible aspect of the games that he plays. And while I'm personally very annoyed every time he complains about Paper Mario Sticker Star, I think he makes great content. Uh... And while I, I want, in the future, I intend to be that kind of level of comprehensive, but I'm still starting out, so like, I'm not, I'm trying to show everything that I can, but I'm not necessarily making it a, uh, a requirement that I cover everything. Which is part of why I, like, I might come back and redo these Let's Plays when I have more experience and I have, uh, I mean, I'm better at like comprehensive research. Uh, and when I've found more of my own voice. Because uh, my main goal right now is just I'm having fun. Uh, and I want practice. But I intend to become more comprehensive over time. Uh, although, I don't know. I might find that I prefer a slightly different style. I don't know. I'm, I'm just doing this, because it's a thing I've always wanted to do. Feels weird to say always, but it is 10 years now. I think as of next, as of March, it'll be 10 years that I've wanted to do this. Which is, like, that's 40% of my life that I've wanted to do this. Was he weak to? Genji. No. What does Shiny Firefly give me? Masenko? Yeah, Masenko. I had to think. Uh, I'm just glad to be starting this now. Uh, I would love to do... Uh, one of my other favorite types of content to watch is educational content. Uh, I suppose you could say edutainment. Because uh, it's a bit more, like, relaxed kind of content. Uh, but still very, impor very uh, informative and often covering fairly complex topics. But I love Vsauce. Uh, I love Veritasium. I know I'm just talking about all my favorite creators in this video, but I don't know, it's an interesting topic. Uh, I love Tom Scott, Technology Connections. Uh, there's a lot that I'm forgetting right now. Uh, Stand Up Maths is great. Uh, Steve Mould is great. Uh, I also love Citation Needed and, tech and the technical, technical difficulties in general. Not just Tom Scott. Uh, Matt Gray, Chris Joel, Gary Brannon. It annoys me that that's not in the order of their uh, intro, but it's fine. There's there's a ton of content creators that I love. I don't necessarily follow all of their stuff all the time. Uh, 
in particular. I've not watched Tom Scott stuff the last year or so. I intend to, because I, I, I've seen basically every video on his channel prior to that. Uh, I just haven't kept up, and at some point I'll have to watch through. Is this really his weakness? Yeah, okay, it is. I, I, it, I wasn't looking very closely. I thought it wasn't doing as much damage. Uh, uh, and I've also historically watched every video that Philip DeFranco has uploaded. Uh, I, th I think he's a pretty good source for news. Uh, I, I respect the way that he, uh, in general, is quite good about separating out his opinion from uh, the facts of the story. Uh, but I ha also am months behind on his videos at this point. Because I've just been... I'm always distracted by a million things. But I, I generally get back to things. So I will get caught up on his videos at some point. Uh, the last month and a half, I've been quite busy actually with this. Uh, recording and editing videos has been a big focus for me. And I need to get a little better about managing my time. But I'm having fun, and like I said, this is something I really want to do. Here, now I can show his weakness, since I didn't use on him at all the first time. He is weak to the sweet show. Doesn't do, like, a ton of damage. I don't actually think it's that much less damage. Is it any less damage? I will check in editing and compare the bars. But that does not appear to be substantially less damage than the Mikazuki's on. So, like, it almost doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm... I found sometimes I focus at kind of weird times where, like, I don't really need to be quiet and focus as much as I do. But it's also nice to just sort of take a second to think. Uh... I enjoy speaking continuously, and I've been fairly impressed at... Is this... Is this Tidal Whale? Ugh. His favorite one. Uh, but I've been, I've been fairly impressed at my ability to just keep speaking. I don't generally run out of things to say. I have a couple times. Uh, I say, uh, too much. I, I keep commenting that, but it, it's really starting to annoy me. Uh, there we go. I did it again. Anyway. I've been relatively fluid in my speech. Uh, and I, I think I've done a decent job of communicating my thoughts clearly. So it really depends. So, some days I'm not as good as others. It's just not consistent. I, I might need to pay attention uh, and, like, try to be aware of like what state of mind I'm in when I go to record and be like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm focused enough or whatever and wait to record because I uh, giving myself the week gap that I have right now means that I can decide to not record one day and do it the next day. Uh, but I still haven't quite figured out uh, my style. What is he weak to? Twin Dream. He's weak to the Sogenmu, or Twin Dream. Which uh, basically is the soul body from the previous game, except uh, if the shade itself does not do any damage, it simply does... Uh, you simply attack in that form. It, it, it mimics your attacks and does damage, and that's about it. It's a weird move that I have a hard time using effectively against uh, uh, Pressing Grizzly, Grizzly Slash, whatever you want to call him. He's immune to his own weapon, which I suppose makes sense, but it's not like I can not use it. If I'm in midair, I use it and he just doesn't take damage. I didn't realize that. I did not remember that, I suppose. 
God damn it. I, <laughs> I didn't realize quite how much I rely on them because of Gizan. Uh, but I really do. Aw, oh, shit. Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. Thank you. I really don't like the Sogan move that much. It's all right. But when I first played Mega Man X4 here, when I did the Let's Play, I forgot how Soul Body worked because I was thinking of Sogenmu. Ugh, my legs are sore. Just because I've been sitting weird, I guess. Uh, I am... To, to, to better explain why I'm tired, I only got two hours of sleep last night. I basically, like... Or maybe a little more than that. I basically took a nap and I was gonna go to bed, but then I started playing Mega Man Zero, and a few hours later I decided I'm just gonna stay awake. Now, it's hard to use the Danchian without getting hit. You gotta be quite careful. Ow. Especially if you've got that bouncing around, hard to, hard to not get hit there. Ow, well, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I jumped on the wall there. But I was going to comment that I'm doing better than I was worried I would. But then I'm screwing up this fight entirely, so maybe not. But I know I'm sure some people, uh, like it might, it might get a little boring if I just keep doing Mega Man. So I might take a break at some point soon. I might not go through the entirety of the franchise. Because uh, that's a bit much. But, I mean, it doesn't take very long to get through the X-Series. A few months to go through the whole X-Series. Spending a few months in the X-Series, in the Classic Series, makes sense to me. Uh, if I get tired of Mega Man uh, doing Mega Man Let's Plays, then I'll swap. I'm not, like, married... To finishing all of this at the beginning here. I have a million ideas for uh, games to let's play, so I I'm not opposed to pausing. Oh, because of uh, Buster Plus, I might actually be able to kill him with his weakness here while it's active, rather. Uh, you'd think he'd be going a little faster, actually, because it is doing one damage bonus. Ooh, almost perfectly. Yeah. Buster Plus is really helpful. Uh, I wonder if it doesn't apply to all three hits of the combo. It didn't seem to there. Huh. But here we go. Moving on to Sigma. All Well, the park before Sigma. We're not at the fight quite yet. I always forget about this section. Ooh, I like the base on the balls there. That sounds quite nice. Ow. But, God, what the hell was I saying? Yeah, I only got two hours of sleep. I decided to stay awake. Uh, I finished my fourth playthrough and started a hard mode file in the ultimate mode file. I'm not going to go too into detail, because at some point I will let's play Mega Man Zero. Uh, but I was having fun. Uh, so I just had a Red Bull this morning, or early this morning, and then a, coffee, and then a cup of coffee, and I just chugged another Red Bull. So I have quite a bit of caffeine in me. Earlier than I expected. I'll finish this battle once and for all. Sorry, I didn't read that. Zero, I'll ask you one more time. Don't you want to acquire the power of your true self? Ha! I have my true powers. I met an old man who knows a lot about you. He told me an interesting story. He told me that you are something far greater than what you appear to be. On his advice, I scattered the virus so that I, it could infiltrate you. You haven't shown any signs of waking up. I won't become a maverick. I won't yield to your pitiful virus. <laughs> you don't seem to understand. I'm not talking about becoming a maverick. You felt it, didn't you? 
you felt a tremendous power fill your body. Power from the virus. That is because the virus purifies your body. Shut up! You can destroy me, but death is all that awaits you too. Embrace your true self now or forever be lost. Wake up, Zero. I'm not afraid to die, but I won't die alone. Ha, oh, pathetic fool. So be it. His first form is weak to the Denji, but I honestly kind of just recommend using... Uh, doing this. Jumping over and hitting... What? I didn't expect that to hit me. That confused the hell out of me, actually. Just jump over him. And use the Mikazuki's on. I kind of think that's more effective than using his actual weakness. Oof. Oof. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not too bad. This video might end up being a little long. It's already 36 minutes. Uh, I mean, I think I'm going to cut like a tiny bit of that, but fine. It's the last, <laughs> last for the last episode of a, of a run, so it's fine. Number one hunter you are, Zero. Tell me, which one of you is stronger, X or Zero? Weird way to say that. It's weird to say Zero in that context. Who cares? Where are you, Sigma? Face me. He 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 he, calm down, I'm here. Let me tell you about an old man I met. Why are you introducing him again? He told me you are the strongest in the universe. Tell me, who is that old man? How should I know? I don't know such a person. You must know him. Don't tell me you've never met him in your dreams. I don't know him. He seems very interested in you, as if he was your own father. Shut up, enough. I won't allow you to escape this time, Sigma. Yeah, okay, it's pretty explicit that he's talking about Dr. Wily. <laughs> I forgot quite how explicit it is in the Zero Run. Ow. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, I don't want to die. Yeah, I'll use it. It's probably not a great idea, but I will. He's weak to the Sogenmu. But, like, he's not that weak to it. Uh, he's a lot more effective to use. Sorry, I'm struggling. It's not as effective as uh, the Giga, the Nova Strike is with that, with Ultimate X, obviously. But it's not bad. Just gotta be careful. Dodge as much as you can. It's real hard to dodge everything. I thought he was going to do the, the purple blocks. Ooh, almost. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, darn. But I'll never die alone. I'll take you down with me. You've lost. What can you do now? Yeah. X seems to be somewhere close. Three of us can die together. You won't feel lonely if X is with you. No, leave X out of this. Time to go. Say goodbye, Zero. Gaha. I didn't want to read all that. I like the little light rays used in the explosions in the PlayStation games. Uh, the Zero games have an equivalent thing, I think. At least the first game does. Zero? Zero! Zero! Zero, zero, no, don't die! Do you hear me, zero, zero? Drop, drop, dead. Uh, oh, oh no! This is mostly the same. It's a little different. Not yet, but... Gah! How persistent you are. Die. I like that. I guess it's not like a smooth rack focus or anything. That, that's what they're going for, and it's cool. Sigma. X, do you hear me? Darn, your optimism led. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Darn, your optimism led to your own demise. You should live. Ha, 
<laughs> Die, Sigma! Hmm, it's strange. I've defeated the Sigma virus. Why did I fight against Sigma again? I... I feel... pain. Oh, I see. The energy is running out. And the memory device is malfunctioning. Finally, I... I'm going to die. Who is this? Even now, I have no idea. I've had a recurring nightmare. This time, it's my figure that appears. That's a cool shot. Let's see, I finally got the meaning of the dream. What? What are you making? It's the one that destroys Reploids. I understand everything now. I, Iris, I'm sorry. Sorry, X, but I think I have to die to restore the peace. And now, everything will come to an end. Goodbye, X. Very sad, solemn kind of ending. You get to see Zero kind of unravel as his mind fails him. Uh, it's, I think, pretty compelling as uh, a death scene. Kind of undermined by him being alive, him coming back in the next game, uh, and then being in three more games, counting command mission. But, yeah, this game's really fun. I, I had fun. Uh, I'm glad I did better here in these last two episodes than I did in the first two. It's four, yeah. I already forgot, jeez. But this has been really fun. I love X5. Uh, despite all the weirdness, I think the game's still really fun. And I am nervous to move on to X6. Uh, obviously, the bonus video is next, but at least I'll record it next. Depending on how long it takes to edit, it might go up after the beginning of X6. But that's bonus thing. So X6 is the next main thing. And I'm nervous. But I'm also excited. I, I, I think it'll be really fun. Well, I say that. I think there will be a lot of fun to be had, but there might also be some frustration. As I get better at the game and remember the level design and how to get the more annoying Reploids, it won't be quite as bad. It, it, it's... <sighs> I think X6 is... The... I think it's I think it's probably it's probably my least favorite of the main X series. But I still like it. It's just got a lot of things that annoy me and I think it's really kind of unapproachable. Or at least the least approachable of the X games. It feels to me at least the level design feels a bit spiteful. It feels and I might have said this before, but it feels like you can... It. I feel like I can tell that Inafune did not want to make another game. I know he's not the only one that deserves credit for design and creation and stuff, but it feels like he didn't want to make another game and so made it intentionally kind of harsh and spiteful. <laughs> and it's not bad. It's just... The level design feels more mean-spirited than most Mega Man games. Uh, I won't be surprised if going through it again, I like it more than I have before. Uh, I doubt it'll raise above any of the other games for me. I think it'll probably still be my least favorite. But I am excited to Let's Play it. I'm just also nervous. But I appreciate anyone who's watched this series or any of the series I've done, anyone that watches the videos going forward. I am having a blast recording them. Did I end its SA rank? Oh, cool. 
I don't usually end at SA rank. I know that's not the best rank, but I'm still pretty happy with that. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, an hour 22. I wonder if that's faster than my X run, I'd guess, but... Uh, this has been fun. I will see you guys in XX.